morning. Uh, and thank you, Professor Rasolik and Kresimir Rotin for permit shared with all of us some experience about the, how we handle the hydrocephalus obstructive hydrocephalus when the cause is brain tumor, especially in the skull vein. I don't have any disclosure and I would like to show you our experience from 1984 until this time, we are reviewed almost to 2,500 patients and with this concept. Uh, we begin into this work in 1983 in the University of Minnesota, we begin to study brain trauma patients, but later we extend this knowledge to build this kind of situation. And I would like to review some important parts of the ICP. Most 90, more than 90, a, a percent of the neurosurgeon only take care about the value of the HCP. And in our concept, we will have to review some important issue about the waveform that we can help because uh, we would like to review some physiopathological scenes at this situation. The basic concept is that more recently doctrine that I will not introduce the whole concept because you know all very well, but I permit tell you that the brain permit increase some volumes in the uh, cranium even before the ICP growing up, up. But the waveform is reflected all these changes. You can see here the waveform uh, when you saw, when you measure the, the uh, ICP, and we have three peaks, and all these three peaks represent some part of the brain continent that is very important and will be reflected in the corpse and we tell us about the compliance and the elastance. This a very well concept that you know. Uh, we can see the, the brain is a, one sponge that could be increase his volume and also we can decrease his volume. Today, with many papers, especially from Holland and also from Nagoya University who has working very hard in this topic, we know that the uh, that the, there are the cell circulation that Harvey Cushing was a, a suspicious. But now until 10 years ago, we are beginning to end, understand it about the brain lymphatic system. That this very uh, important way to understand what is the really the cause of the edema in this kind of pressure. So we have these three concepts that are very important, the blood circulation, lymphatic circulation, and CSF circulation, who are the three components that will be reflected in the ICP and also in the waveform, how I will be explaining to you. This is very important in the concept of the, from 2000 was the first time we begin to study this concept of the lymphatic because we know to today the brain the brain will be reacting to the osmolarity in this kind of chains and with this gradient uh, will be moving the water could be inside of the the cell of the intracellular space you can see here one case that we can say we are, have the obstruction and we can make hydrocephalus and ICP will be increased and could be in some time will be 
in acute state. It's very important that we know today that only know is the concept that Kuchin understand about the CSF produced in the coral, in the plexus coradal of the ventricles. Now we know there are another situation by this lymphatic that also we can get manage the water inside to the brain. We can see this now in some nice study of the MRI, functional MRI, that we can tell us why in these cases that you, you can uh, have some issues that in maybe in some times you have increase of the ICP related with the water in the brain of CSF, but the ventricles is not large. And, but the hedema, for example, in this case, permit all this kind of situation because the pressure of the water can be promote the ventricles go uh, growing. And this is another case that you can see like we saw that this hydro, hydrocephalo, but all physio, all these chains, physiopathologists chain us. Today we have to have the concept of the CSF and the ventricles uh, about the volume, how it's mov moving the water could be inside of the cells or in the uh, uh, extra in the space out of the cells and also in the same way by the ventricles. In summary, we have to have this concept today that the movement of the water in the brain, it noise only in the CSF in the ventricles and also the reabsorption of the water in the suaranoid um, velos would be difficult, depends if we increase this tension in the subdural space. And all these concepts permit to us have better understanding about the monitoring of ICP in this kind of thing. We start working this concept in 1984 in my country, um, Salomon Hakim, who you know very well of the, of him, because the syndrome of the normal pressure hydrocephalo and all these resident and myself, we begin to study uh, this concept and review all these cases from this time to this moment. And we begin to do with the uh, a water system in, in, by Rismon screw, later improve the technology with the Camino screw. And we begin to understand it. The ICP have two components that are very important. What is uh, the waveform? And the other ones is the normal volume that we know also in numbers to five to 15, but the way for many people doesn't care and is the first change about the use of the compliance of the brain that I explained uh, uh, by uh, Mo, uh, Monroe Kelly doctrine. So we have in the brain three components, brain volume that we say is brain is like a sponge and could be increased depends of the water and CSF is the uh, fluid that we have uh, in, the, in the ventricles and the, in the suaranoid space. And also the second pro pro component is brain volume. You can see the normal weight and the, whose three peaks. And in this, in many cases like in the normal hydrocephalo, you have pressure normal, but the waveform 
will be uh, in the uh, uh, chains wave. Like in EKG, you can see this is the normal uh, waveform, the ICP, that we P1 is brain, P2 is the water in the ventriculus or in the in the brain space, and three peaks is the corresponding to the venous, uh, the blood in the venous system. This uh, we have three uh, chains in this curve related. This time of curve, when the all waves you can see very well, and the uh, waveform will be flat, is related to the edema. And type two, the hydrocephalus curve, is when two, the second peak is elevated, and this type three, when the three peak, uh, three way is uh, normal. This is related Taiwan, this is, you can see this is the way for, and with the, a little moment, the curve, because they use all compliance and the elastan with minimal volume, the curve, the, the increase of ICP go to 40 or whatever. This is the way for in this kind of things related that I tell you about the elastans and compliance, and we can see in this part of course with any little volume, this ICP go up in the value. This type two, where the CSF is increasing in the ventricles, oh. and you can see the second peak is higher than the other ones. This is the uh, waveform of the hydrocephalo curve. And the type C is when related when the venous volume is increased, and you can see the third peak will be increased, like in this example. And this uh, uh, this is the summary of this morphology. And now I try to explain how it can help to us. In '96 was the first time that I spoke about this concept in the Brain Trauma Symposium in 1996. And it's important because the people try to confuse the waveform with the lumbar concept, the lumbar concept, they made the classification of the IC of this wave, but in trends, it, they measure eight hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours, and in these cases, the, the uh, concept is related to the stance and compliance. It's not related to really, like we can see in, in one EG, EKG of the heart that you can see, you can detect ischemia or whatever. The same concept is here, when you saw that the, you have one curve of hydrocephalus. If this is true, if I take out the CSF, like this example, this is in one patient, you can see this curve is changed. Even the pressure is no more than 20. And this is the real concept that this is, we have to take care because if you drainage too much, we can go to hypotension and the patient don't need it, drainage more. Or we don't know exactly how we can put in one, do one chunk. We don't have in a special, in the burial pressure chunk, we can know, we can know say exactly what is the time of the pressure. Here we can see, because if we, if we have then this curve with the type B, and we take five millimeters or 10 millimeters of CSS, we will see, and the normal curve will be again a recovery. We know exactly 
what is the measure, the value pressure. For example, the patient was in 20, and in this time is in 15. We have to start to put in more rationality the value of this system. We also published this in neuroscience in Colombia and many review of Latin America, this kind of concept that we are doing. And this is important because this is minute to minute to can review of the patient. So in summary, I want to emphasize these changes that could be related to the pathology to relate it to the three elements that we have in the brain. And we also can say how we handle it. In these cases, we have to take out CSF and this kind of uh, manager for edema, we can do all this pressure in the in test care. And also in some patients, you, you can see another therapeutic. All these concepts are using and promoting by myself from this time to this time in all Latin American countries. That is important because we, not, we try to help to see how we have to uh, manage it of ICP before the patient get really sick and in the acute uh, intracranial pressure. So I would like to tell you now related of the this situation in the skull base, that this is the purpose of this talk. In 1990, in 2003, a professor of Melty invited me to Arkansas to promote this concept, to try to know more rationality how to handle the hydrocephalus. Why? Because we have to know two issues very important that the brain stain, the, the difference between the pressure in the supratentorial space and infratentorial space could be have problem with the circulation in the brain stain. If we take too much the pressure and may very low in the supratentorial space, and we have one pathology here, the all a uh, uh, basal of the brain stain that will be uh, in the line will be curved, and they, we can get problem in the brain stain by ischemia or even like we know the uh, he micro hemorrhage in the brain stain, and later we can get more damage. We can do very nice surgery, take very nice all tumors, and then the patient got in coma or get with, for example, you take one uh, neurinoma of the hunting angle, big, and then the, the, the normal anatomic in the facial nerve is preserved. But in three or four days, the patient get a, a, a facial paralysis, and we can say really what is going on. So I will now tell you that it's very important for try to select it how, ma, how many CSA we have to have for have may, less problem or in this kind of situation. We was working in our intensive unit. Uh, unfortunately, this was one neurosurgeon who was very well uh, in intensive care and he died about COVID. Yeah, I want to say that this is one difficult time for us. That now I, will, I want to summarize to you what we have to do it. For example, in this case that we have here, one is, what is better to do? One external ventricle drain, shunt or, in, or ser in this, uh, ser in endoscopic ser ventriculostomy. What is the best way for to alive the pressure in this passage? So let's see. Uh, for ser 
in the endoscopic set vehicle, set uh, ventriculostomy, we have this condition, <clears throat> no edema, and a adequate suaranoidal space and open si system. In this case, we, we want to know that endoscopy will be work because if you have more pressure in this uh, suaranoidal space or in the system, the CSA from the ventricles will not go out and we will not permit the this shared ventricles working. It's for this reason in 70% of the case could be function, but in the 70%, this will be no work in the aranoidic bellow because the increase of the aranoidic space pressure will be no permit. Tito, How uh, we can uh, I, I apologize. Uh, we are out of time uh, for, for more yes. than six minutes. So just uh, please, uh, if you yes. jump to the I, 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 I have, I will have only two minutes. Ventricle uh, chunks will be used when you have this curve and you have a no system and no suaranoidal space. And also you can see an edema. In this case, we can perform on this and select the pressure according to the concept I promoted before. And for the cell issue, the ventricular drains is when the, really we have acute and very high hypertension in this time, 25, and we don't have sister, so there's no space, and we have severe edema that we can see here, which is important in this concept. Okay. So, Okay, this is uh, the end uh, permit. I put in the last one. Yep. And in conclusion, the rational use of treatment of hydrocephalus and intracranial pressure will be uh, use the morphology of the course for prevent secondary damage. For finally, I will by invite all of you to the call Congress of Neurosurgery that will be March 13 to 18 in person in Bogota, Colombia. All you are welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. Rasmus.